Hello everyone, it's SK95. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last time, we managed to go to the Fire Sanctuary. And now, we are going to be continuing on the Fire Sanctuary and hopefully getting the last flame. All right, let's go through the store now. Oh, we're back outside. Looks like it. All right, let's go this way out. So we're gonna need to go left, and you see another plant. Uh, uh, one of these days, one of these days, Bokoblins will learn that no one cares. There, they're all dead, Jim. Really? There we go. They're all gone. No enemies here whatsoever. I would like to use the slingshot for this because I don't want to waste the ammo for my arrows. All right, very good. So we're gonna climb up this way and have our bow ready. You know, I'm surprised it didn't grab me, but I argue that's completely and utterly fine. Open this door to go into a small crevice with curse piece. Swing loudly. It works. Trust me. You have a crystal. So let's dig. Oh. Okay. Hearts are good. Alright. Whatever. Nothing too terrible. Something's nearby. It's an enemy. Oi. Oi. Curse variation. Yeah, you have cursed variations of those enemies. Oh, we got another dig spot. Alright, so we smack this. Not, actually, because that's actually unbreakable. There's a magma here. Ah, so busy, so busy. Burning the midnight oil again, looking for loot. Door is open. I am, I am. I am, I am. Ah, a green monster. Ah, I can't believe they're following me, uh, following us down here now. I guess I could have some fun with him for now, though. <laughs> you're a monster. You may be scary, but as long as your way ahead of me is clear, you'll never catch me. I am, I am. Blowing us up with the bomb is very lucrative. What we need to do is actually close it. Doing that, he will press the switch no matter what. This forces him to move, however, you want to get him to do something stupid. Eventually. This is so bogus. Got him! No! You got me! Go on then, you monster! Spoil me! Fake me! Do your worst! What? Dot dot dot. Huh? I know those gloves. I know those from my brother's secret collection. He gave them to me. What? You know my brother? Aw, you're all green. I thought you were a monster. Rude. Hey, don't get all angry. I thought you were one of them. Sorry, guy. Let me give you something good to make up for it. Hang on here, there a second. This better be worth it. Here you go. You know, some monsters seem to be looking for something on those cliffs ahead of us. You're heading that way too. That way too, guy. You take care out there. Don't want to see you get skewered or nothing. Me, I'm heading back to the boss's place. I'll open the door for you while you're um, at while I'm at it. See ya. Thank goodness. That's why we couldn't move forward. And this just is a piece of art. Yep. Now I can finally tell the ask the name. Curse Bloom. Serious creatures' natural habitats includes poisonous swamps and other dangerous environments. It spits evil curses that store 
that it soars up in its body. Currently by nature, it slits with its eyes just above the surface in order to detect any danger and flee if necessary. Bomb? Whoa, no. Freaking case. Ugh. That's it. You're dying. Yeah, we need to go back. Because we actually don't need anything else here. Well, actually we don't. We're just actually going to the next spot. Pressing the switch will allow us to go here at any point we need to. Quite easy to get past in the area. Another save point right here in case you need it. And behind the save point is a another digging hole. That's right, more digging. Stamina fruit as well. There we go. Stamina recharge. Very good. Rocks. 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 Rock Johnson. Oh no. Oh no. I have may have done a bad idea. Get me out, 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 get me out. That's not worth it, that's not worth it, that's not worth it. Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Okay, we're good. That was way too close. I almost boiled myself. There is nothing by that wall, by the way, in case you're wondering, because there isn't. I do necessarily need to go back in order to get those chests I missed. That's gonna be fun. Unfortunately, I have to walk the long way around, so give me a second. I could go back and get those chests, but honestly speaking, those chests are probably either 20 rupees or something else. It's not hard to get back to there and go back to the thing again. All you have to do is go outside from the safe. Although, I'll be frankly honest, I'll probably do that at the end of the video, or rather at the end of the area, and just go back in and get them. Because I'd rather not waste all of our precious time. There we go. And now we're going up this way. A tablet. Bridge of Decision. Choose the path you believe in. Move forward bravely. If you recall, this was the bridge that you technically need to jump down. First things first, let's see what the other area has. And we also have a bird statue. Unlike normal bird statues, though, you can actually leave the fire sanctuary if you need to back to the sky. This is a very odd choice and an odd area for the location to be at. It's actually something that's very good. Meaning you can actually get back here at any point you need to in case you need to do something else. So let's go on to this bridge. The Bridge of Decision. One eye is open. Your eyes are closed. Let's see what happens when from one that's eyes are open. Hot, 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 hot! That was the wrong answer. The correct answer. Yep, it's this way. The invisible ice platform causes you to slide down. Yeah, pretty much. Money. Eh. There we go, another one. We must get more money. We got to have more money. I just realized it's totally not a ruby. That's totally not a ruby at all. <laughs> Should not have been a ruby. <laughs> uh, the hit detection on this thing is whacked. All right, let's lift this up. Oh, great. Two Dark Tilsimals. We can talk about this. Wow. 
my leash, in my leash. Hit me, hit me, you fool. Not that hit me. Hit me with your tail. Yeah, no, none of that dark leash. So, so troublesome. So uncivilized. I'm up here. And now we can open this up. And finally go across up the staircase. Yeah, we hear a case again. Ah, figures. One of these days we'll deal with less curse hate. Yeah, this is where I like using the scatter shot because A. Got him. I don't like these curse keys, I swear. Whatever. I don't care. I gotta hope and pray I don't get hit. <laughs> Die. Hey, curse case. You made your luck. There you go. I don't care about the green movie, but please die. I'm tired of it. Thank goodness. Oh. I gotta use a bow. One down. Beast. I can do red baskets. Ah, this is gonna be fun. Die, please. Fun. Very, very fun. Very, very fun. Bring light to each statue in accordance with the numbers of wings each possess from least to most. When light resides in each statue, the king's treasure shall be yours. <coughs> yeah. Wing by wing. And we're digging in a hole into here. One. This is two. This is one. And now this two. We want to get this bomb and swipe it at it. That was very annoying, but whatever. Yeah, there's an enemy in here, and unfortunately we can't get rid of it. Alas. Three was below us. And then four was right above. Simple, right? It's open. Nope. Err. Uh, yeah, you got a boss fight. Essentially. Unironically enough, it doesn't leave that corner. Calm down in a second. Of our lives. 
Good grief. That is probably an annoying enemy, and honestly speaking, I don't like it that much. This is not many times you do digging sections, and to be honest, it's not exactly my most favorite thing in the world, but it's fine as well. I mean, this is the only time the game actually does this. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, let's open this chest, and of course, we're gonna get the big, blasted sculpture! This time, it is the Mysterious Crystals! This mass is made up of faintly glowing square crystals. Several are missing. Yeah. Mass crystals. Yeah. I'm going to cut ahead back to the bird's den. Not gonna cut ahead, actually. I'm just gonna do that after we're done with this bit area because I do not want to deal with this anymore. All right, so we're down here. Press the switch. Get free. Good. Now break pottery. Every Link player knows always break pottery. It's our main calling here. Ha <laughs> ha! Pottery is my enemy. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it's easier to grab the bug net, to be honest. It's better than just trying to pick it up randomly with the bottle itself. Hi, how are you? Wonderful weather we're having. <laughs> All this weather. Hot. <laughs> uh, oh. No, shut up. Oh, you son of a gun! Oh, that's it. I've had enough of your blasted face. I've had enough of your blasted face the last lifetime here. Oh. Thank goodness. Fully healed and our shields are spared all day. You didn't have a... So annoying. He didn't even drop anything. He's useless to me. He's such a useless pain in the neck. Anyway, he. You gotta turn this very interestingly. Like that. <laughs> in case you're wondering if I memorized that, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, when you memorize something right. The key is now opened. And now we can finally head over to the box. Probably took me fire boss, right? 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 It is very dark in here. <laughs> oh, hello there, Link. I see you're still among the living. Fancy me and you here. Minato, I mean, what? <laughs> We seem, to bump, we seem to bump into each other other time and time again. Oh, it's no coincidence, though, is it? You and I were bound by a thread of fate. <sighs> Look at the old, these old drawings. Until I found these, I was upset about that little stunt the goddess's guard dog pulled at the gate of time. What was that twig's name again? Impa? Well, I never mind that, because these drawings suggest that the existence of a second of time. This news has just filled my heart with rainbows! I've been a busy boy, searching here and there and everywhere for another gate of time. <laughs> and yet, I couldn't even find a single clue. Since I know I can be honest with you, I, I'll got, admit that I got a little sulky. It was frowns all around. <laughs> the thought of never getting my hands on that darling young girl again was, well, more than I could bear. <laughs> but then, when I found this place, the prospect of a second gate of time has made me positively giddily. <laughs> That girl, your adorable friend, she'll be the instrumental in bringing about the revival of my master. And though I feared she was now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. But before we talk any further on that subject, there's still the astounding matter of your punishment, Link. 
Do you remember when I told you that next time we meet, I make your ears bleed from the sound of your own screams? Well, I've been thinking, perhaps a corporal punishment is a touch much. I might be willing to forgive and forget if you strike a deal. So strike a deal. Hmm. All I ask is you tell me where I can find the other gate of time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Oh, and don't play coy with me. I know, I know that you know. So why not let me? <laughs> Never gonna happen. Such behavior. A mischievous boy like you needs to be dealt with firmly. I must warn you, I won't go all easy on you this time. Lovely, aren't they? You'll find that the slippery skin of my arms are tougher than any armor. Doesn't their shape just leave you breathless? <laughs> Behold, such beauty, such a pure form, such an exquisite physique, such a stunning features. Yes, I've been pretty much got it all. Though there is one tiny thing anything I lack, <laughs> namely mercy. <laughs> Come at to me, Link. You and I, we're bound by that thread of fate, destined to fight. So come close, Link. Meet me in battle, and the thread of fate that binds us will be soaked crimson with your blood. That's right, you get to fight Gimeon, Lord Gimeon here, a second time. <laughs> Yep, same strategy as last time. You are pretty much doing the same strategy. Alright, darn it. He's on a wall, of course, like last time. Yeah, he doesn't care about Skyward Strike here. Ah. Eh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, same strategy as before. Now you have to knock him out. You can go distance away, but it's throwing errors at you as a result. You can counter. Yeah, this is basically the same fight again as last time. A lot more annoying gimmicks on this. Oh. Yeah, you're pretty much running out of dealing with arrows at the same time. This entire fight just resolves around doing this a lot. Disturbing it will cause him to have to resummon them again. What? I did not swing right. Game. Now we've managed to go back into the second phase, and this time he brings out two swords. Dual wielding. Same strategy as before against Stalvos. Oh, jeez. Ow. Yeah, this is pretty much a no Hey, he will counterattack you if you hit him. You're wrong at all, so be careful. Yeah, this entire fight is literally a sword duel counterattack strategy. Yeah, he doesn't sneak attack with a jump attack. That is very dangerous. Yeah, he you don't want to fall for any traps. 
This is a fight that can be either the easiest fight or the worst. Depending on what you deal with. So, really, it depends on how you react. Pretty much is a case of fighting him and teleporting shenanigans a lot. You're pretty much waiting for him to try to counterattack you a lot. And he's gonna make his trick. Yeah, that's pretty much what he does. Yeah, he can do that as well. Yeah. Yeah, don't do too much dodging, though. He will counterattack you for it. This is a fight that can be the longest drawn out fight or the fastest fight, depending on what you do. It's not exactly fun. There we go. Enough of this foolishness. Girahem, Demon Lord. It shouldn't matter how powerful your sword is. You're still are still nothing, not just a human, a human child, and yet you prevail. You filthy scamp. You've awakened a wrath that will burn for eons. I swear to you, whatever it takes, I'll drag you into an eternity of torment. <laughs> Personally speaking, I say Giram's second fight is probably one of the more one of the more harder fights in the game. It tests your reflexes and your mastery of the sword as a result of that. You got our container once again. More power. Now we have a lot of hearts. We have five more hearts to get. And in case you're wondering, well, this is the last main dungeon. This means no more heart containers. You have to get them from pieces of heart. Like last time, of course, that was right. And let us get the final flame that we need to get to this area. Now we have Din. And of course, like every color coordination, the spire is now red. Flames of Din have imbued your blade with a sacred white light that demons revile. <laughs> this sword is looking much more complete than ever before. Master, now that it has been tempered with the last of the sacred flames, your blade has finally revealed its true form. You now hold the Master Sword. With this sword's great power, you can awaken the Gate of Time within the Seal Temple. I recommend you make your way to this location. It's finally time. 
One quick thing, though. Of course, I need to go get those chests. See you in a second. Master Sword, of course. I might as well explain something with the Master Sword. Gyro Strike does not... There's not much change of it. The only exception is the fact it does even more damage. Yeah, a lot more damage. Wonder how much the multiplier goes up by? Well, it doubles from the last one. As a result of that, that means this sword is actually way stronger than last time. So, yeah, you're pretty much dealing with more damage to the Master Sword than you ever did before. Damage modifiers increasing is something that the sword is great at. However, as you notice, the design seems different than traditional Master Swords. There is a reason for this. Curse case, once again, I'll go ahead. So uncivilized. I have a great time. Oh, hello. Bye-bye. <laughs> have a great time. I don't care anymore. In this corner I forgot about it was a 20 rubies. I forgot. Arrows. Good. I need this. You know, I just realized something I also forgot. I forgot. I forgot way too much. That was so bothersome and annoying and at the same gosh dang time. Dig into here, and now you can finally go under this gate. All you have to do is press the switch on the bottom. This is only accessible after you get the digging this. Maybe it's upgrade from the mog to the mog limits. This is the only time you can do this. This is why you have to go back in in order to do so, unless you want to go all the way back to the beginning. You kind of have no choice. Now we've opened this up, we can actually go down this way. We haven't been able to do it before. And now we have access to water. Yeah, water. And that stinking thing exists. Yeah, you already know what you're gonna do. Hi, how are you? Wonderful weather we're having. Guess what? Water. Oh. Ugh. I gotta get back water. Get back water. Get back water. Get back water. Already shaping up to be fan freaking tastic. There we go. Die, die, die. There we go. Now that it's completely dead, the water level drops. Or lava level drops. Why I call the water level. Who knows? I don't know anymore. Now you have access to going over this way. You couldn't do it before because A, lava. This is a door that you can't access normally. And this area is finally accessible and this is a chest. Inside this chest that's hidden in the corner is... The last empty bottle! <laughs> yeah! The empty bottle was hiding behind here! It's very annoying. I just full, so I'm check. Gosh dang it. This is where it starts to get complicated. Because the empty balls are something that have a mainstay in Zelda games, you're gonna have to do inventory changing. As a result of that, I personally recommendation is if you don't need treasures anymore, get rid of the treasure metal. That's literally the only thing you should do. Alright, so I'm gonna cut ahead back to the outside unless I can get to that save point. See you all in just a second. Found one! Alright, time to get out of here. Back to outside we go. Yes, leave this area, please. Now we are free to go back. We're gonna have to head back to the blasted area once again. However, we wanna do one thing. And get that empty bot, check our treasures, and see if we can upgrade anything else. I mean, right now, there really isn't anything left. As a result of that, you're gonna just need to go get after the empty bottle because we right now have enough treasures to finish anything else. Because we don't need any more treasures anymore. 
the only thing you'll ever need is going after potions. This is why the end game is usually potion hunting and finding creatures and bugs. In case you're wondering if I'm more concerned about the bug items, well, there is one bug item I need to grab. Perfect landing. This is also the opportune moment that your money is going to be reserved only to buy more items. The treasure items are literally the only reason you need it. Gondo does not have any upgrades for you. Except for one. We have enough for the 30 upgrade we need. And this is technically the last upgrade we're going to get. I am not going to go after the Iron Shields upgrade maxed. But I might as well show it off once I get it. Now we get the large seed satchel. Oh, it looks like I have anything of a grade. Oh, welcome, Link. Sorry for acting so crazy the other day. I thought it long and hard about it, and I'm completely over it now. There's an old saying when women grow more beautiful after their heart's been broken. I think I know what that means now. And I fully intend to make myself more and more beautiful every day. There are goods, okay? So where are we? Hand it over. With our new upgrade, we actually have the empty bottle we can do, and we also have the rubies, medals as well. However, it comes very apparent quickly where you're going to need. So we're going to actually get the empty bottle out and get rid of the treasure metal, because we don't need it anymore. And while I'm going to show off the Reinforced the Seal's last upgrade to make this easier on us, I might as well do it just to make it easier. And then we'll come back. Gondo. Hey. Iron Shield so we can get this maxed out. We do not have enough Monster Claws and we don't have any Tumbleweeds. Unless you want to upgrade the shield, you're going to need three Monster Claws and five, three more Tumbleweeds. It's annoying, but you have no choice. So, I'm going to get back my old shield again because I don't need this Iron Shield anymore. I'm not going to need a lower quality shield just because of A, this. There we go. And now we get out of here. Now, what is... Why am I holding that one? I want this. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's just a small quiver talking about. You can upgrade and get more quivers in order to upgrade it more, so... Yeah, pretty much. Items I'd recommend stocking up after you have this... There is two items. Mm. Guardian Potion makes you feel invincible and reduces damage. I recommend it in case you're getting hit too much. Now, Guardian Potion has an upgrade. The upgrade requires Elden Wall Rollers and Shari Fireflies. The upgrade causes it to prevent any damage. Short time is quite short. So if you need to go to Elden Volcano again, or need to go get Shari Fireflies, Shari Fireflies are in Skyloft. And the Elden Rollers, of course, Elden. Keep an eye out. All right, nine. I recommend having at least some potions around you at all times. The guardian potion in particular is recommended. Now, I'm going to cut ahead back to the one area that we need. However, I want to get one thing at Beetle's place where we have a thousand rubies for. Actually, no. I'm going to cut ahead back to the sealed grounds because we need to get that done now. You can go to Seal Grounds to do so, however, I recommend going behind the temple. It's a better spawn location than anyone else. Landed. What the? Yeah, they got in two hits. It's not enough as it is. There's gonna be a lot of Bokoblins that are at high level. Now we have to deal with more damaging enemies. Thankfully, though, they're as weak and puny as you expect. Another Gossip Stone, which is useful enough. So, let's see what we get out of this one. Sure, why not? In case you're wondering if there's a Gossip Stone over there, there isn't. <laughs> and like last time, let us go all the way over here again and do it again because there's three here. There is a Scott... Oh. Whoa, I think my heart stopped. That's it. The discovery of a lifetime. Oh. There's no mistake. These symbols are, must be the one of the marks. Mark. Oh, one of the goss walls left for the hero by the goddess. Yeah, 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 Gorko. I got it. I got this. I got this. I'm probably going to get hearts, aren't I? 
Uh, da -da 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 I have made art. Wimpoa. Bollocks, I hate when that happens. Whatever, let's open this door and get this gate of time opened up. Now that we have the Master, master Sword, now we can actually open the gate of time. Ah, oh, your sword. There can be no doubt. The sacred flames are purified displayed. Well done, Link. That sword holds tremendous power. Mm. That power is a sacred force. It is a fine power left by left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken in the ballad of the goddess. To look upon you is to see the same great power now flowing through your, you and the sword you carry. Ah. Come, Link. You must now open the gate of time. Now that the sacred force dwells within your blade, strike the gate of time with a skyward strike, and it will surely awaken. Climb onto the pedestal and show the gate your sword's power. Wow! Whoa! Uh, of course. No, I fear the seal has given way once again. That terrible beast is awakening even as we speak. It's likely that monster reacted to your sacred power given off by your sword. I wish it had not happened, but there is no other way to open the gate. So it, so it goes. Link, you must imprison the beast once again. <laughs> All right, bring it on. Yeah. That is what I've been waiting for. It's time to break out my new toy. Trust me, that flabby bag of teeth doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? I'm heading out there. Bruce has something up to his sleeve. Time to open this door. All right, there we go. I'm gonna point out a contention of fact. Yes. No. Hey, Link. Yeah. Duh. Don't worry not to drool on your shirt as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. I call it the Grucinator. Oh. Leaves you speechless, doesn't it? That's only natural. You wouldn't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. Here, check it out. First, I got all the fences cluttered out of the way, area of the way. Then I laid down the rails for her to run on. All by myself, of course. And then what came over me? I just had no clue I had the talent to make something like this, you know? That's quite ingenious, actually. That's quite impressive, dude. Anyhow, you just tell me where you want me to place my shots, and I'll put a hurting on that ugly monster. I don't care how beefy you are. You're going to bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the body. Hang on, though. That monster's showing up a snitch sooner than I was expecting. There's a few final adjustments that I gotta make before she can move on the rails I put down. I'll call it out to you when she's ready for action. Until then, do whatever you can to hold off that beast. Yep, Bruce has the Grucinator. And yes, I might as well point this out. This is people's point of contention. The imprisoned breaks out. Again. And it's as annoying as you think. Wanna know when anything changes? Well, it's free once again. And this time, Hans. He has hands now. How oh, they grow up so fast. The second fight of the imprisoned. It's as weird to look at as ever. And it does electric earthquakes. Look at that. Seems our ugly friend grew itself in a pair of all hands. Great timing. I know it knows and Elba knows how to catch, cause the eye machine are a mean right arm. Has a mean right arm. When she's all loaded up, I'll let you know. Until then, do what you need to do to stop it. The new Skyward Strike with our new upgraded Master Sword to right, do damage. It's actually easier. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, finally. Now it's gonna try to do something else. Instead, it doesn't decide to climb by walking. It's gonna climb on the wall and try to pull itself up. Hey, Link, that machine's all loaded and ready to smash. Okay, that five seconds he tries to climb the wall. I'll blast it off of here with my with a bomb. And you want to back up, just send me the signal of X. That's right, signal of X. Alright, it's time for Bruce to explode the action. Adjust the machine position with L. Aim your, at your target. Once you finish aiming, press ZR to launch a bomb. If it hits, you'll stun the scary sucker. Scary sucker. If you forget the controls, press right at any time when you're in control of the cruise scenario or the basics. Like 
last time. Bang. Ha, huh, she pecks me much, doesn't I tell you? I love this time, first time I pulled this lever. I'll start lowering your back another problem, so I'll keep beating on the oh yeah, until you get this again. Doing it stops it from moving. In case you're wondering, yeah, it still does the earthquake stop. There we go. Slip through its legs, and now he falls over. A big warning, though. Its hands are obnoxiously in the way. You're going to have to walk around it in a way that's a little more awkward than last time. There we go. We managed to knock it down. However, instead of last time, where it flops on the ground and pulls its head horn out, once again, it gets enraged again and tries anything it can. Hey! It's ready again. When he has a hey, he says it. You want to wait in case he's climbing because this is a very annoying section to do so. You want to have stem stamina in them ready because if you don't have any stamina, you're going to get screwed for it. There we go. And flop again. Where did I go? Oh, I'm under this point. <laughs> Sad thing is, you have to drop down in order to get to him again. It's very, very cumbersome to and hit him. Unfortunately, this is something that is unavoidable by proxy. Do not worry about Bruce, he's right now fine. Knocking him down once again causes him to go into the same phase he was at before. Climb up a decent distance, because his crawling is still as annoying as long as ever. In case you're wondering if a bomb can stun it to stop it from doing any more, I hate to be a bear of bad news, it does not stop it. Are you done? Thank you. Pulls his horn out, steal up once again for the third time. Second time? And now. There we go, we slowed it down. Oh, no you don't. No, you do not. I do not care for that. Cease doing that. Oh, that was a little too... I fell off the foot bridge. Ah, nuts. Link, why? Where am I? Dang it, 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 dang it. He doesn't stay stunned for long. So that's why I'm saying dang it, 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 dang it. Thank you. Control, thank you. Third time is the charm. Thank goodness. This fight can be the most annoying thing in gosh dang planet. Go away, imprisoned. He got close. He actually got close to getting to the top.
And of course, like last time. Mm. Now, Link, strike the seal and strike with Skyward Strike and restore the seal. Quickly! Well aware, and I'm in desperate need of pain. <laughs> uh, I probably recommend that potion right by now, but. Eh. Now let's do that again. On the top. Pretty much a new symbol. All right. Now this time, try to stay asleep. This thing's getting more and more desperate. <clears throat> nice work there, Link. Of course, you couldn't have done it without me, but there's no need to think, Bruce. I know I saved your tail. Now let's get back to the gay time thing up and running. I'll go on ahead. Now let's get that gay time running. I can't even talk today. I'm tired of this. Uh, imprisoned is literally the crux of the problem starting the game in the Skyward Sword. No offense to anyone, but the imprisoned fights are probably the most bland and drawn out of all of them. I hate to say something negative about it, but it's true. Thankfully, though, we can restore our hearts here at any point, and there's a bench in there in case we need it. We're going to be restoring our hearts and also going in to open the gate of time. Ah, boy. It seems that you were successful in imprisoning that monster again. You have my thanks, Link. As you, Bruce... I don't wish to dwell on what may have happened if you two hadn't been here. <laughs> oh, you're giving me too much credit, Granny. You were the one who got me to stop feeling sorry for myself and put my energy into doing something I, what I could help. Could do help. <laughs> I did what was necessary to get you to realize your full potential. Mm. Link, you must wonder what just... What is it you've been fighting out there in the Great Pit? There is much I can tell you, but suffice to say, the root of all evil we face... It is the root of all evil we face. When you pass through the gate of time, you shall learn more. You may seal it and reseal it into its prison a thousand times, but it will always shatter its bonds that can find it, such as its awesome power. You must destroy it at its source or suffer this fate again and again. There is no time to lose. Hit the gate with Skyward Strike. <laughs> Come on already. Charge that sword of yours with the Sacred Force stuff Granny was talking about and zap the gate of time. Right, Granny? Mm. Indeed. Now, Link, go. Go to the gate. Guys, guys, just let me do it in peace. Do not fear it. This is what we've been waiting waited for. At long last, the gate has been reactivated. Mm. Standing before you is a path into transcendence and the flow of time. 
It is a portal to the past. The very place where Zelda waits now waits. Go bravely, Link. And if everything is as I expect, then the reunion of Zelda you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. Nah, don't worry about me. I'm gonna hang back here, Link. <clears throat> that stupid monster doesn't know when to quit, and Granny here keeps yapping on and on how we never know when it might bust free again. <clears throat> Someone's gotta sit around and guard the place. <laughs> might as well be me. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? And you know what? Nah, forget about it. When you see Zelda, tell her I said, what's up? Bruce is really coming to his own. Next time on Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HC, we're going to be seeing what's beyond the gate.